Good evening. We're back with another episode of the Lord of the Rings LCG progression series. As always, we're playing solo, and tonight's quest is Over the Misty Mountains Grim. The second quest of the first Hobbit box, the Hobbit box titled Overhill and um Underhill, and we will continue to play with the Secrecy Rohan deck from the first quest, which performed quite well on the first quest, I must say. Decked the opponent very quickly, and I enjoy playing this deck a lot. I don't think it's the best deck for these quests, but it's really strong, and I really enjoy it. It's, it's a lot of fun. So, let's get the deck shuffled up. This is a dual deck encounter deck similar to uh, Foundations of Stone. What do we got here? We got a resourceful, we got some allies, got a good combo there. I'll take it. For the setup, we've got the setup. And on the other side, this is when you would search for treasure, which we don't have any. And then you search for one stone giant and one card per player. So the Deck gives us discard all non-treasure, non-objective attachments. Good start. Does nothing. Good start. One, two, three, four. Draw card. Nothing turn one. Well, I want to play resourceful. That's strong turn one. And I'll automate that resource gain for the future. So the only thing I'm really lacking here is a uh, Gandalf. But I think I will play Arwen for the questing help, and I'll shoot the shield over to Frodo. But I'm going to send everybody, so it doesn't really matter. Give a resource to Frodo with Theodrid. And what do we get from the encounter deck? Okay, it's one. At the end of the round, place top X cards of the encounter discard pile on the bottom of the encounter deck. If it's in the staging area, I don't care about that. So it's five to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine for progress. And we're on to the next turn. And so this turn we can do some things. We'll get out Keeley. Look for Feely. and then play a very good tail. So we are going to be shuffling and discarding the top five, two, three, four, five, and we can play two allies worth up to six cost, and so we'll play double Ritter Mark's finest, and the others get discarded. Alrighty, and I can get another Ritter Mark's finest. No, I can't. Don't have the resources yet. Okay. Uh, so I'll just go ahead and quest. I'll leave one of those active in case I need it. Faramir would be amazing here. Also, uh, astonishing speed. Uh, the card is so oh, four, five, six, seven to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Five progress. Go ahead and move to that location. And I would be putting discard cards back on the bottom. Yeah, doesn't matter. They're not going to come up before that deck goes away. That's kind of, I guess that's a location that has more of an effect in other quests. I don't know. Oh, there's Faramir. Okay. I have to save up for him, but that's fine. Uh, I'll get out. Uh, Galadrim's greeting, actually, I think. Three, one, two, three, four, five, six. Back down to the secrecy range. And also another Rittermark's finest. Whoops, did not mean to do that. There we go. He had two resources, now he has none. And we'll go ahead and just quest. I'll leave one of these up. I'll leave Keeley up. Arwen Shield to go to Frodo. One threat there, one resource to Theodrid after Theodrid commits to a quest. Choose a hero committed to that quest and add one resource, so I'll give it to Theodrid. So I want Faramir out next turn. And the counter card is Galloping Boulders. So first player chooses a questing character, that character takes three damage and is removed from the quest. 
I'll go ahead and sacrifice. Should I sacrifice Feely or just put it on Frodo maybe? Three damage, convert it to threat. One, two, three, no problem. And Galloping Boulders gain Surge. So Frodo's no longer committed. Uh, doomed one and that'll Surge again. Or I could increase threat by four. Should I do that? I don't think that's a problem really. Sure. Eat the threat. Four, five to one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, six progress. Two, three, four, five, six. Still need one more turn to clear. But this turn, oh, okay, well, that's cool. One, two, three, four. Got Faramir, so let's quest it up. That should be good enough. And exhaust Faramir, and it's a three. Four, five, six, seven, eight to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, seven progress. We're over by three, and we're on to the next phase. Shuffle all encounter cards back into the encounter deck and set it aside inactive. And the discard pile as well. And we swap it for this one. And we go looking for the Great Goblin and add it to the staging area. The Great Goblin. And then reveal three encounter cards, but you can spend Baggins resources to reduce it to one, which I will do. And the one is a location. Okay, so that resolves the quest phase. Next, we'll move to that location, and the Great Goblin will engage. The Great Goblin will attack Frodo. For five, defending player deals damage equal to the number of goblins engaged with. That's one. So one damage, I'll put it on a horse. Sorry, horse. And we got five damage to two shields plus one with Arwen is three shields, so two threat, and exhaust Frodo, and then I can strike back for two damage. I do have to uh, discard a card for the Great Goblin, and then if it's a Goblin, it goes to staging, and it is, so it's in staging, but no problem. Gandalf would be nice here. All right, well, clearly I have enough to quest. I just need to deal uh, 8 damage, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. I can quest with everything else. Let's see, can I do both in the same turn? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Let's say I quested with them. So I'd have Aowen. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Questing. I don't think I can do both in the same turn. So I'll play Ritter, Mark, Ritter of the Mark. Uh, he, I don't have to engage him. I can just ignore him. He does have plus one threat while this location's active, which I could do something about, but I want the horses for attack, so let's just go... Two, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Extra horse for the enemy, Faramir for the enemy. That should be good to set up the victory next turn. Bilbo as well. Right now, what is that? One, two, three, four, five, six. And Faramir. That's good, right? When revealed, starting with the first player, each player must choose one goblin from discard and add it to... Is there, are there any? There are none. Okay, that's a dud. So it's two to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Eight progress. One, two, three. Oh, seven progress. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. 
Pat will not engage. I'll just leave it there. Great Goblin can attack Frodo. Okay, that's a dud, so three threat. And we have to discard one card and see if it's a Goblin. It is not. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The six damage. One, two, three, four, five, six. That will put the Great Goblin in the victory display. And we're on to the final turn. And we'll just go ahead and exhaust Faramir and quest everyone else. Don't think the encounter deck can do anything about this, but we'll see. We'll play Astonishing Speed. So what does it have? Location, that's three, four, five to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37 to 5 is 32 progress. I don't know, I lost count of how many I had before. I think 30, uh, I think it had 4 before. But anyway, we're way over players defeat this stage. They've won the game. Great Goblins in the victory display. That's a game. And yeah, I enjoyed playing this deck quite a lot. It's a lot of fun for these Hobbit quests, and hopefully you all enjoyed watching it. Thanks for watching.